Hi, welcome to Architect Interview Question Series from Knowledge Powerhouse. Let's uh, go through our next question. What is CAP theorem in software architecture? So CAP theorem, I mean, there have been books that have been written and there are things where CAP theorem has been described. So in this lecture, we will try to do a justice to that in short so that if you are preparing for an interview or you just want to refresh your knowledge, you understand what exactly CAP theorem is. So in CAP theorem, it stands for like, it's an acronym for three words, C-A-P. C stands for consistency, A stands for availability, and P stands for partition tolerance. So this was a theorem that was proposed by a computer scientist, Eric Brewer, and as per him, it is impossible uh, for a data store to provide more than two guarantees out of these three. So at one time you can either choose CA, CP or AP. So these are the three, like, you know, three choices that you have. So let's first understand what is consistency. Consistency, it means that every read receives the most recent write or an error. Like, I mean, if you're updating a system and then you try to read, then your read will get the latest information that has been written, right? So writing has to be consistent, then the read gets a consistent read. Then availability, it means that every request to the system receives a response. Now, response means like non-error response. You can always, I mean, handle like, you know, start giving errors to that people. But availability means non-error response is given to every request. And without the guarantee that it is the most recent write. Like, I mean, even if some process is trying to write and some read requests come, you just return the response, like even though that write has not completed. So correctness is not important. Availability means like you get some response. And third is partition tolerance. In this, in a distributed system, uh, we continue to operate even when some of the machines they go down or some of the messages get dropped or there is a like network breakdown so that is like you know common thing so a system continue to work even though certain nodes have gone down so basically these are the three things that system doesn't uh, go down which is partition tolerance availability that system keep returning you some kind of a response which is not an error response 504 and system gives you a consistent result always that is consistency so these are the three choices that we have so now what happens is that as an architect we have to decide between one of these following so what we can do is that whenever there is a request either we can decrease the availability of the system or we can like you know increase the consistency but availability will be like you know consistency is low but availability is high so at consistency low means like system may be in inconsistent state or it can be consistent after some time so let's go through the choices in a so cap system in general like though we say there are three choices but most of the time it's limited to only two choices so the choice is between cp or ap why there is no choice of ca because in a distributed system it is natural that there are some nodes that will fail, which means the system has to continue to work. You cannot create a system where say that all nodes have failed or because of one node, like, you know, we will fail everything. So that partition tolerance has to be there. Now comes a choice whether you are a CP or AP. So basically it's a choice between consistency or availability. Partition tolerance has to be there. Now in consistency and uh, availability, what happens is that let's say, there is some failure in a system like network partition or means like some node has gone down because of which we are not able to either write or read from that node. Now in such a case, if we get a request, now we have two choices. Either we cancel this request, say that, oh, like, you know, availability of the system is low because the one node has gone down. Or we handle the request by giving some stale data to them. In that case, what response we are giving is some stale data which is not consistent like i mean this is the data that was like few minutes before before the node broke down right so there is a choice between this now if we like you know do, do not provide a like you know highly available system we may lose business 
if we do not provide a highly consistent system we may lose the reputation or something now this twice we will see by one example how we tackle with this twice so understand by one example and most of us have done some kind of online shopping in online shopping let's say we have a website that is selling products now in products there are two uh, modules one is where listing product module where products are listed for sale and then there is a order taking module where the inventory is managed so in such a case like uh, one whenever you take an order an order is fulfilled then inventory is reduced and whenever somebody orders something like you know we say that okay these many items are available for sale and these are two different system but they talk to each other but let's say there is some communication breakdown that happens now you have a choice that uh, because of that breakdown in the system uh, the inventory might not be getting updated correctly right and you are not able to say that how many products are available right so in that case you have a choice whether to tell to your customer that sorry our system is down we are trying to reconcile these things with the inventory system then only we'll start showing you the right products or you have a choice where you keep showing more inventory than is available and at later point of time when you get the orders you try to fulfill right and then you make it into a consistent flow so this was the problem that was faced by amazon business people amazon technologists when they launch and and they when they face the situation then the business took the decision that we have to choose availability which means like we still keep to keep showing more products okay and uh, once we have the orders from the customers then we can tackle the problem of how to serve it kind of thing and it's not like they are doing it for all the products or all the time it's only for those times when the, there are errors in the system where note goes down so amazon as a business chose availability over the consistency whereas there are certain examples where we have uh, like financial systems there let's say you are in a banking system the consistency is more important than our availability that's why in many banking sites it says like you know you have to check back after some time because they can't show you the incorrect uh, uh, balance so the system has to be consistent so availability can go down so as i mentioned there is a choice between products for sale or the back end availability so that way we do that so in a financial system consistency is important whereas in an e-commerce system high availability is very important All right thank you thank you for uh, listening and uh, keep uh, sharing your comments and uh, keep subscribing the channel that is very helpful for us to know how what you are doing and that way you also come to know what updates we are making